cooking with Clarence. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do a common comestible of a very interesting dip. Who doesn't like guacamole? Let's back up a little bit. Comestible means to eat. So what I'd like to do is introduce this comestible of dip, which is the guacamole, into your home. And I'm going to show you a really, really easy basic way to prepare this. Once we do that, we're going to further glorify this recipe into something. We're going to boost it up and elevate your taste buds into something crazy. You're going to just love it. Your head's going to explode, I'm telling you. Most people, when you have guacamole, what do you usually have it with? Chips, tortilla chips, nachos. I thought what we would do is Go a little bit leading towards the healthier side. Instead of the chips, the fried salty chips, which I love. Who doesn't love that? We're going to do a hick, uh, how do you say this? Hikama. Hikama is a starchy, rooted vegetable. It's kind of like a Spanish-Mexican vegetable. It's a cross between an apple and a potato, if you want to think of it that way. It's got a nice crunch. What we're going to do is we're going to take the guacamole, we're going to put it on the hikaba, hikaba, and then we're going to put a little uh, bay cocktail shrimp on top, and I did a little infused hot olive oil, which is going to be mind-blowing. Let's just leave it at that. Let's get into this, all right? We use a clear mixing bowl, but I'm going to show you how I do this. Go on top, cut it right in half. 360 degrees until it falls off. Give it a little whack, it comes right out. What you're gonna do with this is you're gonna cut them into little lines like this. Go horizontal. Beautiful. So the interesting thing with this is, you know, you might think, is this a fruit or a vegetable? Or maybe you don't think about it at all. The truth of the matter is, it is a fruit. It's got a pit and it grows on trees. I think your little mnemonic device is, if it has pits, and, and it grows on trees, well, by golly, it's a fruit. That's one way of thinking about it. It's a fruit. Just go right in there. Peel it out. Couple more. Again, I change it up every time. Usually I do it all and I mash it all up. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna save about three of them, half of them. And then the last minute after I put all the ingredients in, our um, an amalgamation of ingredients, if you will, we're going to take the cubed ones and we're going to leave them a little whole. Let's put a little bit of cilantro. So we'll take some of this. Now I went a little finer this time than I normally do. Sometimes I leave it, I leave the leaves a little bit more coarse and fresh, but you know what? I was feeling a little bit more chopped up in this case. Now what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze some lemon juice. We're going to do a couple cloves of garlic. Just push that down. Okay, that looks good. I don't mind it a little coarse. Put it in there. What I'm gonna do now is take a little bit of salt. Give it a little splash. Take some cracked pepper. What I've got here is like kind of like a little masher. This is great for guacamole, avocado, something soft. We're just gonna push it in like this. That is outstanding right there. So what you can do, you can also add tomato in here, give it a little color, maybe some little cherry tomatoes, cut them in half or in quarters, bring out the color. I'm not gonna mash this part. It's just lovely this way. All right, so you see how I kept these pieces pretty whole. I'm just gonna stir this in, not, I'm not gonna get crazy and sloppy. I'm just gonna keep them a little whole, okay? Very fragile. So it's kind of nice to do a little half and half. Mash them up, then leave some whole. They're salivating. Excuse me. Okay, this is where we heighten it up a little bit. We're going to magnify this experience into something a little bit bigger. So, I got three little ingredients that I like to use. I'm not going to say three and a half because Tabasco is another thing I don't always use, but I'm going to use it here. The other three that I usually Add when I'm feeling a little saucy, feel a little crazy, okay? We're gonna take some ginger. Chop this much. 
Let's get in there. Not so much your your Spanish or Mexican ingredient, but I'm telling you, this this really uh, this will elevate you to a whole new level. Okay, so we're gonna drop this in. I'm gonna start with just a not the whole thing. Worcestershire, or what's this here sauce? <laughs> gonna do a couple dabs of that. Again, fragile. Be ever so delicate. Just for the fun of it, I'll be right back. Whoo! Yeah! Love that wormhole. Our guacamole is pretty good. That's my dog Zoe. That would be Zoe. She smells it. She loves it. Okay? I know she does. So, the other thing that I've added was take a little bit of Take some cumin seed. Hey, please. I'm trying to have a show over here. I know you're hungry. Okay, here's where we go a little bit further into your senses. Open up those taste buds, ladies and gentlemen, because we're going for a ride! All right! We've come to the point where, instead of using the chips, this is where I want to use that starchy vegetable called hikama. Let's go on weird angles. Let's just change it up. Maybe right down the middle. It's where it becomes fun. Guacamole. Let's put it a little bit on top. You know, I've never really done this. This is where one of those things where, let's try something different. Let's get crazy. Let's go nuts. Wait right there. I've got some baby shrimp, cocktail shrimp. Put that there. It's interesting. This is, this, this falls into the interesting category. This, my friends, I made a little infused olive oil. What I did was I took some dried out red jalapenos and I blended it with the olive oil for approximately five minutes. Then what you do is you put it through a cheesecloth, let it strain, Notice no shells, and you get this beautiful, dark color oil. We're going to just drizzle a little bit on top. <laughs> now we want to really finish it off with some color and some flavor right on the top. We're going to take some cilantro. We're just going to let it rain on top. A little splash of salt. I feel a little bit happier. You know, then I'm gonna just do this. I'm not gonna go on the actual thing. I'm gonna paint the sides, okay? And you know what? My knife had some cilantro on it, but how beautiful is that? Okay, I'm gonna add a little spicy little bite there. Yeah! That is so good. All right, I'm Clarence. Be inspired, get creative. You know the rest. The world is your oyster. A little dab of Tabasco. Love it. That is sensational. Right, Zoe? We'll see you later, everybody. We'll see you later. <laughs>